everybody. We are doing something very special today and I want to introduce you guys to someone very special. My new friend Tamara, who is an art teacher, will be showing Austin and I how to do paper mache. So as you can see, she's made quite a few things out of paper mache. And basically, Tamara, you say we should make anything out of this paper mache stuff, huh? Yep, and you can work really small, which is what I like to do. Um, but I, mean, I also work large too, but I am an adapted special ed art teacher, and so with my kids, they need to have something that's small and that we can do you know, relatively quickly. Um, you can do this with really simple things. Um, this is called, this is Elmer's, made by Elmer's. It's an mm -hmm. art paste. I think there's a couple of different uh, companies that make art paste. Okay. Um, much more useful, I think, than working with, uh, with flour and water, which okay. is an old yes. style. Yes. To do paper mache, you can use uh, newspaper and aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. um, and it's good to have a kind of paper that's like a thin paper that, like a newsprint type paper, but mm -hmm. without the actual printing on it that you do the paper mache process with. Because if you're going to paint, for instance, or even use what I like to use, which is colored non bleeding tissue paper, mm -hmm. um, you definitely want to not hey. have the print on it because it's harder to paint over it and it's harder to cover up the print even with the, with the tissue. So, um, and then masking tape. These are kind of like musts. Uh, so, Austin has an idea you that you want to make. What do you want to make? You want to tell them what you want to make? Um, you need fire hydrant and a hose. Fire hydrant and a hose. And so, <laughs> this is a kind of a, a special thing here. So, what we're going to do is um, use a little handy toilet paper roll. Yay! And let's see here, we need some newspaper so that this won't be falling over too easy. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do, Austin, we're going to scrunch this newspaper up. Can you scrunch it up, scrunch it up, scrunch it up in your hand? Just scrunch it up really good. Just scrunch, 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 scrunch like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can stuff it in there. Just kind of stuff it down in there. All right, so we've got this like this right now. And so what we're going to do is first we're going to start by covering this up with some tape, some masking tape. When did you make all that stuff? Well, I've been an art teacher for about 19 years. And so over all of that time, that's why some of these are a little faded. These are old. Wow, so these are years old. Some of them are, yeah. Candy cane. Here, let's put the tape on here. Can you roll the tape on there? Let's push the tape on. Good job. Why do we need the tape? Well, we're going to cover it with tape. It helps to make it, um, one of the things that the tape does is that if you accidentally miss this little spot with the paper mache, the tape will still help to hold it all together. So here, put, put the masking tape on. There you go. Yeah, the masking tape is good stuff. And here, what you have to do, you got to pull it first. There you go. And then grab two sides right next to each other and go yeah. Uh, see, you, you did it. Great. Okay, so then we're going to cover that up right there. Cover it up. Mm -hmm. Cover it up. Yep, cover the side part too. Oh, we can all help together. Yeah. <laughs> this is like now the all right, side. Now the side. It's okay. And I need, let me go grab my phone. <laughs> so I left it. I'm scrunching this up in a ball for the top of the fire hydrant. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. So we're going to put that right on the top like that. Oh, cool. Okay. I see. I see. All right. What's and then going we're going to have here? to take it. So we're take a big piece. <laughs> and we will put it right over the top like that. Excellent. All right. Now, now what we're going to need to do, we've got to make this other little part that goes around the fire hydrant. So, we need to fold this a bunch of times. Okay, can you help me fold it? I'm going to have to need a little paper. Okay, here. Help me with your finger like this. We'll go zip, zip, like that. <laughs> Good. Excellent. 
There you go. Okay, now we gotta fold it again. Uh -huh. So we have to do that part again. Can you do that again? Mm. Yep, and you use the bottom part of your hand too. That's good. All right, and then we'll do it one more time. Oh, here, let's do this side. Let's do that. That's perfect. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's excellent. There. And then, well, I gotta put a couple of pieces of tape to hold it. Can you put it? Yeah, get some more tape. That's good. That's perfect. Okay, you got it. Here you go. All right. More? No? Well, we'll need some more here, but we're gonna put this around there. Like yeah. That. And we're gonna need some of this. <laughs> Sticky. Sticky stuff. Hey. Okay. I'm prepping. I'm That's prepping. Good. All right. I'm gonna need some more tape. So here, so we're gonna have to put some more tape on here to hold hey. it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you guys are getting the tape quickly here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so Tamara says the next part is to paint the fire hydrant all over with the, the sticky stuff. Paste away. Then we have to start putting some paper on there. Little bits of paper. Oh yeah, the little strips of paper. Mm -hmm. So you paint it first so the paper will stick to it, and then you can start putting the little bits of, of paper on it. Oh, okay. Let's put it in a Here, we can even wrap a big piece around it if you'd like. Hands paint in the shape. Mm -hmm. okay. Now we're making it red. So then what we're going to do with this, we're just going to stick it on there, and then we have to cover it with paste. Oh. Right? You can do that with fingers or with paintbrush. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are people in my house who are tactile defensive. Okay, so now we're making a fire hose. The camera is using foil. Let her do this. Do it. You don't want to, unless you want the flood hose to be flat, because some of the pictures we were looking at, the hose was flat because it didn't have water in it yet. But if you want it to be, uh, look like it has water in it, we have to have to make it more round like this. Yes, the covering of the hose. The covering of the hose using this paper. Lucky you got it before a puppy did. Because <clears throat> this puppy will go after it. Wrap it around. Right? Oh boy. <laughs> That's a pickle claw. Part of it was my, I shouldn't have grabbed the ones that had that on it. I was in a hurry when I was grabbing things from my classroom. Do the, um, Here's our hose. The trash bag. <laughs> Fire. And then we do and what's the up trash with the trash can? can? <laughs> what's the what's the thing about the trash can? You gotta make. Oh, well, maybe we can do that one at home. No, let's do the two <laughs> here. That's a home project. Here, I put the lid. Oh, then you put the lid back on. Colorful trash in that. Yeah. It usually is. <laughs> here you go. Oh, more trash. Mm -hmm. You gotta fill that trash can up. That's All right, fun. everybody. Thank you for joining us today for our little Let's how to make paper mache video. Tamara, thank you so much. You are very welcome. This is fun. Draw the picture. Oh. And that's it. We have the fire hose, the fire hydrant, and the trash can that Tamara made out of the toilet paper roll and foil. How creative. Yay. So yay.